I'm about to spend 48 hours in one of Jamaica's most beautiful parishes, Portland. From the historic town of Port Antonio to the lush green mountains where the Maroons fought for their freedom, this place is steeped in history and natural beauty. Imagine walking in the footsteps of the indigenous Taino people or tracing the rugged trails of the Maroons who used these very hills to outsmart the British. During my stay, I'm nestled high up in the mountains at Serenity Cottages, a peaceful retreat surrounded by nature. It's the perfect place to unwind with the sounds of birds singing and the cool mountain breeze gently rustling through the trees. Here, you can truly feel the pulse of Portland, where the past meets the present in a serene setting. As you stand here, gazing out over the vast landscape, it's incredible to think that Portland's interior is dominated by two impressive mountain ranges, the Blue Mountains and the John Crow Mountains. The Blue Mountain Peak, Jamaica's highest point at 2,256 meters, falls right here in Portland. These mountains are the last bastion of Jamaica's indigenous forests and were awarded UNESCO World Heritage status in 2015. We're about to embark on a scenic drive down to G-Jam Hotel for breakfast. But before we hit the road, let's take a bird's eye view of our cozy cottage nestled amidst the lush greenery. Up here at Serenity Cottages, you can almost feel the whispers of history in the air. These lands have witnessed centuries of change, from the indigenous Taino people to the Maroons who fought for freedom in these very hills. As we soar above this serene retreat, I want you to think, what stories do these mountains hold? Portland, located at the northeastern tip of Jamaica, spans approximately 814 square kilometers. What truly sets this parish apart is its rich biodiversity and lush greenery. The region is home to an incredible variety of plant and animal life, making it a haven for nature lovers and adventurers alike. From its cascading waterfalls to the dense tropical rainforests, Portland's natural beauty is as diverse as it is stunning. As we descend Mockingbird Hill towards the coastal areas of Drapers, we're not just covering ground, but journeying through time. Portland has witnessed centuries of change, from the days of the Taino, Jamaica's indigenous people, to the struggles of the Maroons, and the colonial developments that shaped modern Jamaica. The road we're on, lined with towering trees and vibrant flora, was once part of ancient Maroon trails. These trails were essential routes for the Maroons, who fought for their freedom against British colonizers. They knew these hills like the back of their hands, using the rugged terrain to their advantage in guerrilla warfare. Established in 1723, Portland is one of Jamaica's original parishes, steeped in rich history. Influenced by indigenous and colonial cultures, and named after the Duke of Portland who governed Jamaica between 1722 and 1726, this parish is a true testament to the island's rich heritage. As you make your way down Mockingbird Hill, consider staying at one of the three inviting villas in the area. First, there's Hotel Mockingbird, offering eco-friendly luxury and panoramic views of the Blue Mountains and the Caribbean Sea. Next, Fan Villa provides a more intimate experience, complete with spacious terraces and a peaceful atmosphere. Lastly, Heaven Villa lives up to its name with private gardens and an outdoor pool, making it a serene retreat. Together, these four retreats are just minutes away from all the local amenities. As you start to glimpse the coastline, the blue of the Caribbean Sea peeks through the trees, reminding us that Portland's history is not only in the mountains, but also along its shores. Portland's rugged coastline is marked by a series of bays, coves, and inlets, each with its own charm. 
One of the most intriguing coastal features is Navy Island, a small island just off the coast of Port Antonio. This island is steeped in history, having been a strategic point during the colonial era and later owned by the legendary Hollywood actor Errol Flynn. Navy Island's lush landscape and serene beaches offer a glimpse into Portland's past, blending natural beauty with historical intrigue. The coastline we're approaching was once a hub for shipping and trade. Port Antonio, just a few miles from here, was a key port in the 18th and 19th centuries, exporting bananas and coffee to the world. The ships that left these shores carried not just goods, but also stories of a land rich in culture and history. Port Antonio's importance grew even more with the banana trade, making it the second most significant city after Kingston. We're currently making our way along the A4, a scenic route that stretches eastward from Kingston, closely following the coastline through the parishes of St. Thomas and Portland. This road eventually meets the A3 just east of Anato Bay. While it's the least maintained of the four main roads, making the 46 mile journey will take around four hours, but the breathtaking views make it all worthwhile. Before we continue our journey, let's make a quick pit stop to buy some Ginneps. Here, I met some of the most authentic, warm-hearted people you'll ever encounter. There's something special about these moments, chatting with locals, tasting fresh, juicy Ginneps straight from the tree, and experiencing the genuine hospitality that Jamaica is known for. It's these encounters that make exploring Portland so unforgettable. Maybe when I come back, we can get it. As we pass through Drapers, Portland's gems come into view. On our left, Frenchman's Cove Beach, where pristine white sands meet turquoise waters and a freshwater river gently flows into the sea. This spot isn't just beautiful, it's a natural sanctuary where you can truly relax. A little further, San San Beach, one of the most secluded and quiet beaches on the island, is easily missed on a visit to Port Antonio. Just a few minutes from the popular Frenchman's Cove Beach, San San Beach offers parking, restrooms, and an area for barbecuing. Boatmen in the area also offer short rides to Monkey Island, which is a few miles offshore. Also known as Pelu Island, this lush islet is a short boat ride away, or can be accessed by renting a kayak and paddling over yourself. It offers a peaceful retreat to enjoy tranquil surroundings, and maybe even spot some local wildlife. Just around the bend, you'll find the legendary Blue Lagoon, a mystical cove that shifts from emerald green to deep blue throughout the day, 
thanks to its unique blend of fresh and salt water. It's like stepping into a fairy tale. But hold on, the adventure isn't over. You'll find one of Portland's most iconic experiences, rafting on the Rio Grande River. Picture yourself floating down this serene river, surrounded by lush greenery, while your guide shares tales of the area's rich history. It's the perfect blend of relaxation and discovery, a must for anyone looking to truly immerse themselves in Portland's natural beauty. And finally, just a few more minutes down the road, you'll arrive at Boston Beach, the birthplace of Jamaican jerk. Here, it's all about the flavors. Picture yourself savoring spicy, smoky jerk chicken or pork as the ocean waves crash nearby and reggae beats fill the air. This beach perfectly captures Jamaica's laid-back yet vibrant culture. While Boston Beach is a must-visit, there are plenty more attractions along this scenic road in Portland. Take a dip at Winifred Beach, a hidden gem with crystal-clear waters and vibrant coral reefs. Explore the lush beauty of the Reach Falls, where cascading waterfalls and natural pools offer a refreshing escape. Visit the historic Folly Ruins, once a grand mansion now shrouded in mystery and legend. For adventure seekers, Navy Island is a short boat ride away, offering secluded beaches and stunning views. And don't miss the chance to see the incredible Somerset Falls, where a hidden waterfall plunges into a deep, serene pool surrounded by tropical rainforest. Each of these spots captures the essence of Portland's rich history, culture, and natural beauty, making this parish a true Jamaican treasure. So, as we continue our journey, Let's remember that this road holds countless stories and experiences, just waiting to be discovered. If you're loving these stunning views as much as I am, don't miss out on even more breathtaking destinations. Dive into my playlist, where I uncover hidden gems across Jamaica, Curaçao, and Cuba. Each place has its own unique magic. From the vibrant streets of Cuba to the pristine beaches of Curaçao, there's so much to explore. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below with your favorite spots in Portland or anywhere else in Jamaica. Whether it's a secluded beach, a cozy local eatery, or a hidden waterfall, your recommendations can help fellow travelers discover the best of this beautiful island. And now, as we wrap up this incredible drive, let's take a moment to savor the serene beauty of G-Jam Hotel. Nestled in the lush surroundings of Portland, this luxury retreat offers the perfect blend of comfort and nature. Whether you're unwinding in your room or enjoying a delicious breakfast with panoramic views, it's the ideal spot to soak in the tranquil vibes of Jamaica. As we soar over G-Jam Hotel, imagine yourself at their private G-Jam Bay, nestled in a natural cove just steps from G-Jam Studios. Kick back and indulge in Jamaican fusion dishes and cocktails at one of the most stunning backdrops in Port Antonio. Whether you're dining or just vibing, G-Jam offers everything you need to feel welcome and unapologetically chill. Swim, snorkel, kayak, paddleboard, or simply relax in a cabana on their pristine beach. The bay also features a bar, grill, and a waterfront live stage overlooking the beautiful Caribbean Sea. Just beyond, Frenchman's Cove Resort transports you to a bygone era with its traditional colonial decor. The great house is surrounded by lush greenery, offering secluded tranquility as you relax amidst nature's beauty. Continuing along the coastline, the majestic Trident Castle emerges on the peninsula in Port Antonio's Bay. This seven-acre masterpiece is a fusion of medieval architecture and modern decor, providing an ideal setting for a quintessential event with the Caribbean Sea and spectacular mountain views as your backdrop. Along the coast, you'll spot Woods Island, a small, serene retreat just off the shoreline. This hidden gem offers a peaceful escape perfect for those looking to explore a quieter side of Portland. Whether you're kayaking around its shores or simply taking in the natural beauty, Woods Island adds another layer of charm to this breathtaking landscape. 